Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Thanks very much for joining us. And today I want to show you how to get iOS 10. So iOS 10 came out on the 13th of September. It is now the 16th, so I waited a couple of days as I knew there was going to be some issues, which there was. Some people were updating and they got in a loop where it just wouldn't work or their devices came bricked. Apple has now said this has been sorted and it was due to the sheer amount of people trying to get the update signed by Apple but my key thing is before we start make sure you back up always back up just in case something happens and your device has to reset and go back to factory settings so please 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 back up before doing so so as you can see with mine maybe already i'm already running ios 10 i'm running ios 10 public beta but the gold master edition is exactly the same as the public ios 10 so I'm going to show you how to do this. So what you will do is either via settings or you can do it on iTunes. The choice is yours. So via iTunes is a little bit quicker, but it all depends if that signature goes through from Apple really quickly. So what you want to do is tap settings in here, go into general. As you can see, we've got a one already. Then go into software update. Then software update, for some reason, it's not loading the information here, but I can actually tap this information. And there we go, it's actually coming up now. And then we can load more and it's gonna show us everything that's been updated. And there is mass that has been updated. A lot of people said, oh, it doesn't look much different. And it doesn't look much different, but what's been updated has been fantastic. So let me go through some of the features first of all. So Siri has had a big update now. There's a lot of third party interaction with VOPs. So a bit like Skype and WhatsApp. Siri can also help with finding images as well. It can also help finding text messages with third party applications. And there's a lot more updates. Messages is the biggest one that's been updated. iMessage has had a mass update. So now you can draw little notes to each other. You can use the touch, same on, some, on the watch, because there's loads of stickers now that you can send, like Super Mario's there, and loads from the App Store. There's a dedicated iMessage App Store now section where you can go and download all these different stickers and variants and I'll show you some of the best when I come across them. The Super Mario one's really good. Looking forward to playing Super Mario when that comes now because that's going to be coming out for iOS 10 and then Android as well in the holiday season. Maps have been updated, a new look to maps and a new style. Photos have been updated and a new style of photos as well. There's mass, as you can see here, there's loads and loads. And I'll put a link in the description to Apple's website where you can read through all the things as well. Also, when the update is done, this is just demonstrating how the update is done. I will show you the top 10 features for iOS 10 as well. Like I said, just scrolling through here, there is loads and loads. I could spend hours reading all these information out. So what we're gonna do is hit done here. So when you're ready, like I said, make sure it's backed up make sure your battery is over 50 percent before doing so if not connect to charger hit download and install it's going to ask you for your passcode here on the tablet so i'm just going to put that in now then you have an agreement from apple that you have to agree to so there's one here then one in the middle so what that is going to do now is download and install like i said i'm already running ios 10 so it's just going to update it the size was roughly 1.66 for the iPad Pro here. So I'm running the iPad Pro 9.7 inch version. And you can get iOS 10 for the iPhone 5 and above. So that's iPhone 5, 5S, 5C, SE, 6, 6 Plus, 6S, and 6S Plus, 7 and 7 Plus as well. iPad will work on 3, 4, Air 1, Air 2, and the iPad Pro. 9.7 and the iPad Pro 12.9, iPad Mini 4. And it will also work on iPod Touch 6th generation, so the latest generation of the iPod Touch. And I'm really hoping that they might update that this year as well. It'd be nice to see. I'm gonna leave now to download and install and I will come back when done. Okay, so it's now downloaded. So what it's gonna ask us next is to install. So we can just hit the install here. So what this will do is then turn off your iPad, you'll see a loading bar, it will load through once, turn off again, load through a second time, and then you're all set. So we'll come back when that second time has done. So this is what your iPad will look like when it's installed in iOS 10, and we'll come back when done. Okay, so our iPad is all updated. It says to press the home button now, so you have to press the home button every time 
you want to actually do an action. That's because if you slide left or right now, it does different actions than unlocking. So press, you get your keypad up, you're gonna put in your passcode, update completed. So we're already running iOS 10, but now we're on the Gold Master Edition, and it's like the final one that everyone is running as well. It's now asking for your Apple ID, so put in your Apple ID here, turn, so any questions that you do have or any problems, please leave a comment down below. Be more than happy to help. I love getting in contact with all of you. Thank you always as anyway for all your views and your subscriptions. So next is asking you to set up Apple Pay. So if you want to set up Apple Pay, we can do. So diagnostics you can send to Apple or don't send. It's up to you. I'm gonna say don't send. Welcome to iPad, get started. There we go, so we're into our home screen here. So like I said, it's not much different from what I showed you when I first started. Just a couple of key things that I just want to point out that you will notice. If you touch and hold an application, now you can delete other applications compared to normal. So we can delete like the iTunes store there, we can delete Video Player, we can delete FaceTime. So all these applications can be deleted. We can even delete Mail as well now, so that's another key fact. So just press the home button there. If we slide along, to the left hand side we're going to see loads of information now compared to what we used to be able to see and you can edit this as well if you go down to the bottom hit this edit sign here you can add multiple ones in there as well if you so wish sliding down from the top you've got your notification area sliding along we've got our multiple applications in our folders as i said because i'm running ios 10 already mine looks a little bit different compared to what yours will be but let me know what you think and also please check out that 10 features for iOS 10 which will be coming very shortly. So thanks always for watching, please give a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel for our latest news, reviews and unboxings. And talking about unboxings, the iPhone 7 Plus in jet black will be here very soon, so watch out for that. So any videos you'd like to see on the new iPhone, let me know down below. Bye for now.